This is the newer monopod for DSLR cameras. From opening the box, you get the monopod that's in the bag. The bag itself feels a little flimsy and uh, it's made from a, like a cheap material, but it, it is very light, so uh, I'll give it that for credit. The downside of the bag is that you must put the handle into the bag first or the monopod won't fit into the bag. Also, with the bag, you get some straps so that you could carry it around with you. Which is a great feature. Also in the box you get a small plastic bag that has some other goodies in it which I'll talk about later in the video. Before talking about the monopod I must tell you that with the monopod there are three variety of the monopod that you can buy. Firstly you can buy the version that I am reviewing which is the aluminium alloy which includes the base. But if you have a little more money to spend you can get the carbon fiber version that also has the base. Or, if you're on a budget, you can buy the same one that I am reviewing, but doesn't come with the base. Now, talking about extras. From having the monopod in the box, you also get a small little bag, like I said earlier, that has different pieces in it. Firstly, you get an Allen key for removing the base of the monopod, if you wish to. Secondly, you get a small newer pamphlet that you always get from newer products. And finally, in the bag, you get the alternative bases. Now these bases are the Alpenstock 1 4th inch screw and the 3rd 8th inch screw which allows you to install a mini tripod if you don't want to use a base. I am not sure what you get if you purchase the other versions though. Looking at the design of the bases, all of these are made with aluminium alloy or if you get different variety uh, it can differ. The 3 feet base has rubber pads which is a neat feature as it makes the monopod feel secure and sturdy. Also, what I like about the three-legged base is that it can rotate 360 degrees for a panoramic rotation, which are great for photographers who want to take a panoramic photo. Whilst talking about the base, it's easy to fold it as all you have to do is pull the pins and move the legs. Now onto the size of the monopod. The five section leg adjustment makes the monopod quite tall. In fact, the maximum height of the monopod is 66 inches or 168 centimeters. But when the monopod is folded to the size, it's 20 inches and 52 centimeters. Now onto the monopod itself. The monopod, monopod is very lightweight, weighing in at 1.3 pounds or 0.6 kilograms. And the max load weight of the monopod is about 11 pounds or 5 kilograms. Now onto the design of the monopod. The monopod has a foam hand grip and I like this design as it gives the monopod some comfort while holding it. The leg adjustment screw are rubber which feels sleek and comfortable. But be careful from unscrewing the screw as unscrewing them too much can accidentally remove the base from the monopod. Furthermore there is a handle for the grip and when holding the monopod it makes it feel more secure and comfortable to hold. And what is great about this handle is that you can unscrew the pin at the top of the monopod to remove the handle if you wish to do so. And uh, talking about the handle, it doesn't feel cheap at all and it, it feels quite smooth to use when you put it in your hands. Now to conclude, I believe that this monopod is an excellent equipment for a photographer or a filmmaker who doesn't wish to take a tripod with them, as a monopod can save a lot of space when travelling and when they are trying to record or take pictures outside. Now overall, I would give this product about 4 stars out of 5. Um, it's okay for the cost, but if you want a sturdy monopod, then probably spending a little more money would be better. Now, what do you think about this product? Do you think it's worth to buy? Um, if so, please let me know down in the comments below. And also remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.